Do you think there will be a world in the next couple of decades where it's hundreds of millions of people have Neuralinks? Yeah, I do. Do you think when people just, when they see the capabilities, the superhuman capabilities that are possible, and then the, the safety is demonstrated? Yeah, if it's extremely safe um, and you have and, and you can have superhuman abilities, um, and let's say you can upload your memories, um, you know, so you wouldn't you wouldn't lose memories. Um, then I think probably a lot of people would would choose to have it. It would supersede the cell phone, for example. I mean, it's the, mm -hmm. the 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 biggest problem that a say a phone has um, is is trying to div figure out what you want. So that's why you've got uh, you know autocomplete and you've got output, which is all the pixels on the screen. But from the perspective of the human, the output is so friggin' slow. Desktop or phone is desperately just trying to understand what you want. And and um, you know there's an eternity between every keystroke from a computer standpoint. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the computer's talking to a tree, a slow moving yeah. tree that's trying to swipe. Yeah. So, you know, if you had computers that are doing trillions of instructions per second, and a whole second went by, I mean, that's a trillion things it could have done, you know? Yeah, I think it's exciting and scary for people because once you have a very high bit rate, it changes the human experience in a way that's very hard to imagine. Yeah, it would be, we would be something different. I mean, some sort of, Futuristic cyborg. Uh, I mean, I mean, we're, we're obviously talking about. By the way, like it's not like, a, not like around the corner. It's you asked me what the fut distant future is like. Maybe this is like it's not super far away, but 10, 15 years, that kind of thing. When can I get one? Ten years? Probably less than ten years. Depends what you want want to want to do. You know. Hey, if I can get like a thousand BPS. Thousand BPS, one. and it's safe, and I can just interact with the computer while laying back and eating Cheetos. <laughs> I don't eat Cheetos. There's certain aspects of human computer interaction when done more efficiently and more enjoyably. I don't like worth it. Well, we feel pretty confident that um, I, I think maybe within the next year or two that someone with a Neuralink implant will be able to outperform um, a uh, pro gamer. Nice. Uh, because the reaction time would be faster.